everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another things to be happy about. And each video I do of this series, I narrow it down to 30 little things. So this is going to be another 30 things that, you know, we should be happy about. So number one on my list is feeling refreshed after a nap. Oh, sometimes I can't sleep of the night. I will just lay down and decide to take a nap, which I'm not really a nap person. Like I can't nap that often because I struggle to fall asleep of the night. Like I, it literally takes me like an hour or two to fall asleep. So I don't really nap that often, but sometimes I'll just expectantly take a nap and you know, I'll wake up feeling so much better, so much more refreshed and relaxed. And that's such a good feeling. And number two on my list is funny birthday cards. I love birthday cards. I save every birthday card that I get from my best friends Tiffany and Ashley and sometimes if I get like a funny one from my sister or someone in my family I'll keep it just because it's nice to look back on especially if it was funny and like they took the time to go through and pick you out like a certain birthday card that fit for you or to make you laugh then I don't think it should just be chucked in the trash you know. <laughs> uh, number three would be hydrangeas. This is one of my favorite types of flowers. I think they are beautiful. My mom actually got me liking these types of flowers. Four was unexpected presents. I just think it's so cute when someone surprises you with a present. Not saying that like I like getting presents from people because I'm a very um, person where I just don't like when people spend their money on me. And number five on my list is finishing a good book. I love reading a book from the start of it until the very end and you know it's just one of those books that reels you in and like you can't stop reading it. I'm just, like I love those books where like you just start reading them and then you can't put it down because you get so into it and you finish the entire thing like it's such a accomplishing feeling. And number six was actually the same thing I said getting lost in a good book. Same thing as finishing a good book. Like it's such a good feeling, especially whenever you're going through some things in your own life. It feels really good to, I don't know, just get lost in a book, get lost in a fantasy of some sort. And that kind of helps you um, not think so much about what you're going through in your own life. Number seven would be drawings from little kids. Every drawing or every coloring page or anything that my niece Harmony makes for me, I keep or I try to keep. I just think that they're so cute and so sweet and they're just, they're kind of like a cute thing to look back on too. Like whenever the kid gets older, you know, I just think little things like that are adorable. Eight would be a nice fresh ink pen that writes really smoothly on your paper. I hate pens that whenever you're writing with them, you know, they just keep going in and out <laughs> with ink. Those are very annoying and I love like freshly new ink pens that write so smoothly on the paper. It's vibrant. I love them. And also freshly sharpened brand new pencils. Yes. Number nine would be the way that a cat's butt wiggles whenever they're about to attack something. I have six cats and I get to see this all the time and I just think it's so cute to watch their little butt wiggle. It looks like they're dancing or something. Ten kind of comes back to number four. I'm sorry, I wrote all of these down on the list and I wasn't really paying attention. Homemade presents. I just think that homemade presents are even more special than, you know, store-bought presents because they took the time to make this for you. And I feel like it comes more from the heart and it's just very sweet. Number 11 would be fall leaves. I love fall. It's one of my favorite seasons and they're just so beautiful to look at around that time of year. And I also love when um, leaves are all dry and really crunchy and you step on them and they make that like satisfying crunching crunchy sound. 12 would be journals. I just love any types of journals. I just think it's a really cool thing to have and you know keep for years to come and to kind of like I said look back on things. Um, 13 would be Converse sneakers. These have always been some of my favorite types of shoes. I just think that they're so cute and simple and comfortable. I'm not very much of a high heels type of girl. I like my comfortable, you know, flat shoes. 
And 14 would be rainbows. I just think that rainbows are beautiful and since I had three cats pass away and one of them at the time I actually heard somewhere over the rainbow on uh, the day that we were putting her to sleep and ever since then like I've always seen rainbows as like a sign of like them letting me know that they're still here just like good luck or something I just think that they're so pretty and I love all the different colors. Another thing which I'm sure you guys seen coming was Halloween. I love everything about Halloween from dressing up and going out and getting candy to the haunted houses to just the feeling in the air, the horror movies on TV. Everything about it just screams me and it's the best holiday ever invented in my opinion. I love it so much. Okay, number 16 was when you catch your favorite song at the very beginning um, when you hop into the car on the radio. That is the best feeling ever and that's actually happened to me twice since this past weekend. Um, it was a Coldplay song which I really liked. I got in the car with my dad and uh, we turned on the radio. I flipped it over and it was the very beginning of the song and I got to listen to it all the way through. 17 is ordering a pizza. We all love pizza and it's a very um, like exciting feeling when you order a pizza and you know it's coming and you get to dig into that sucker whenever it gets there. <laughs> 18 would be the chubbiness of a baby's cheeks. I just think it's so cute when they grin and you know their cheeks get all puffy and just chunky and you just want to grab them and squeeze them or kiss them or something. I don't know. It's just so cute. 19 would be your payday whenever you know, um, you're broke and you don't spend all your money and like you're literally like waiting for your payday to come and then, you know, it finally comes and you know, you go out, you get you something to eat, you pay all your bills and then you have like a little bit of money left over to do whatever you want with it and it's just, who doesn't love that day? 20 would be walking barefoot in the summertime. I mean, even though it can be a little bit dangerous, I've always done it when I was a little kid. Around here in West Virginia, I would go outside in the summer barefoot and walk around and um, it's a very freeing feeling. And if you hear any weird noises, I'm not farting, I promise. My cat is on my bed and she snores really loud, so yeah. I'm not farting, I promise. 21 would be love songs, even though I don't have a boyfriend and I don't plan on getting a boyfriend anytime soon. I really like sweet little love songs and I have like so many like in playlists on my iPod and I just think that they're so sweet and I know that if I ever did get a boyfriend and ever got married at some point, like I'm gonna have so many songs to go through because I like love songs, what can I say? If a boy was to sit down and sing to me, like play guitar or something for me, I just think it would be so cute and like I'd be head over heels in love. <laughs> 22 would be baby pictures. I just think that pictures in general are a cute thing um, because it's like you're saving a memory forever that could change in the future and it's just cute to look back on that person, what they looked like when they were young and when they were really tiny. 23 would be in the summer whenever you're driving with the windows down and the wind's just blowing through your hair. You get to enjoy the sunshine. And smell all the smells of summer. Which sometimes can be a bad thing because, like, especially around here, like, roadkill and, like, dead animals and stuff. Like, they're really ripe in the summertime and you sometimes get a whiff with your windows down and stuff. But other than that, it's a really nice feeling to um, leave your windows open and stuff. 24 is when people you haven't seen in a really long time come up to you and like run up to you and just wrap their arms around you and give you a big old hug. 25 is the first day of summer, especially whenever I was in school and I was a kid or whatever. Um, the first day of summer was so exciting for me like all these months of school, which I don't know how that works out now a days because I'm not, I'm no longer in school and I haven't been in a really long time. <laughs> you know, um, it was a very exciting feeling because you had like such a long time off of school and you could just relax and be lazy and do whatever you want and you had all this time ahead of you to do all these exciting things. Six was when someone listens to you talk without judgment. Um, 
especially if there's like something that you've been thinking about telling someone and then you finally sit down and tell them thinking you know they're gonna hate you or they're gonna judge you or they're gonna think less of you after you tell them and you tell them and they listen to everything you have to say and they don't judge you for it in fact they let you know that they still love you the same like 27 would be fangirling i've always been a fangirl since birth <laughs> i believe whenever i was about three or four i was obsessed with the backstreet boys and my mom would have to record like their music videos and stuff on vhs tapes and i'd have to rewind them back and watch them over and over and over again and i would dance in my diapers to the Backstreet Boys in my room and I had the biggest crush on Howie and since then I have been the biggest fangirl that hasn't changed at all. I love boy bands, what can I say? And just fangirling with anything, like I fangirl over The Walking Dead too, like Daryl and Rick and Megan. <laughs> 28 is meeting your best friends through fandom. This is pretty much how I met all of my close best friends. Um, there are a few that I met in different shapes and forms. Um, two of my really close friends I actually met through a fandom or because of something that we really liked. And um, it's just a nice way of meeting people that you're really going to connect with, you know. And I've actually met some of my really, really, really close friends through fandoms and I just think it's cute. 29 is seeing kids do something that you actually taught them to do like tying their shoes for example you know something that you've learned over the years that you kind of passed down to them seeing them do that it's just a nice feeling and then number 30 and my last one for this video is being complimented on your handwriting i am someone who has had kind of sloppy handwriting at least I want to consider it sloppy my entire life um, but I have had like a few random people tell me you know I had really pretty handwriting and when they do that it just really makes your day you know especially when you kind of thought otherwise but hearing it from someone else just makes you feel good you know <laughs> but yeah those were my 30 things to be happy about for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And leave me a comment if there is anything that makes you happy um, that would be considered a little thing in life. And I may include it in my next um, things to be happy about video. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.